ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ 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 ਸਤਨਾਮ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਫਰੀਦਾ ਕਾਲੇ ਮੰਡੇ ਕੱਪੜੇ ਕਾਲਾ ਮੰਡਾ ਵੇਸ ਗੁਣ ਹੀ ਪਰਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਫਿਰਾ ਲੋਕ ਕਹੈ ਦਰਵੇਸ ਤੂੰ ਦਰਿਆਉ ਦਾਨਾ ਬਿਨਾ ਮੈਂ ਮਛਲੀ ਕੈਸੇ ਅੰਤ ਲਹਾ ਜਹ ਜਹ ਦੇਖਾ ਤਹ ਤਹ ਤੂੰ ਹੈ ਤੁਝ ਤੇ ਨਿਕ ਸੀ ਫੂਟ ਮਰਾ ਹਮਰੀ ਗਣਤ ਨਾ ਗਣੀਆਂ ਕਾਈ ਆਪਣਾ ਬਿਰਦ ਪਛਾਣ ਹਾਥ ਦੇ ਰਾਖੇ ਕਰ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਦਾ ਸਦਾ ਰੰਗ ਮਾਣ ਸਾਚਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸਦ ਮਿਹਰਵਾਨ ਬੰਦ ਪਾਇਆ ਮੇਰੇ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਪੂਰੇ ਹੋਈ ਸਰਬ ਕਲਿਆਣ जियो पाए पिंड जिन साजिया दिता पहनन खान अपने दास की आप पैज राखी नानक सद कुर्बान अपने दास की आप पैज राखी नानक सद कुर्बान डंडौत बंधन अनक बार सर्व कला समरथ डोलन ते राखो प्रभु नानक दे कर हाथ डोलन ते राखो प्रभु नानक दे कर हाथ ਸਾਰੀ ਸੰਗਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਫਰ ਫੋਕਸ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ ਐਂਡ ਸਾਰੀ ਗੱਜ ਵਜ ਕੇ ਕਲਗੀ ਤਰ ਪਾ ਚੜੀ ਬਖਸ਼ੀ ਹੋਏ ਫਤਿਹ ਬੁਲੰਦ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੁਲਾਓ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸੋ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਵੀ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਸਪੀਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦੀ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਔਨ ਹੈਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਹੁਕਮ ਰਜ਼ਾਈ ਚੱਲਣਾ ਹੁਕਮ ਰਜ਼ਾਈ ਚੱਲਣਾ ਨਾਨਕ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਨਾਲ ਲੈਟਸ ਟ੍ਰਾਈ ਟੂ ਫਰਸਟ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਵਾਟ or some characteristics of akal purkh and then we'll try to understand what is the hukum of akal purkh and then we'll try to see what maharaj is saying by by following or living the raza of the hukum so if we wanted to describe the oneness or the advait bona D of Akalpur is described in three ways. So it's known as sujati, vijati and swagat ped. Right? Ped means difference. And when we focus on Japji Sahib like I was saying last night as well, Japji Sahib is the mool bani in Sri Guru Granth Sahib ji. It's also known in history, Itihas which on that's known somebody asked Guru Nanak Dev ji that what is the mala mantra? and gurunanak dev ji satyapach's reply was jap sahib 
and Japji Sahib is known as this these staircases which lead to Brahmgyan. There was uh, just to put a little bit of context onto Japji Sahib. They imagined. Oh, this is something that actually happened. There was a couple of uh, sadhus sitting there, Jatatari. You all understand Jatatari? Dreadlocks? Like renunciates that live in jungles. Oh, sorry, na, ek sadhu idam bete. And uh, they were sitting outside on the, on the side of the road and they were talking to each other. And one said, You know, how much of Japji Sahib do you know? The other one says, I know up to the fourth body. And the next one says, Well, I'm at this 13th body now. And the next one talks, speaks about, I'm at the 17th party. The next one says, I'm on the 23rd party. The other one says, I'm only on the 15th party. And as they're talking about this, you know, Ankari, somebody Ankari like me walks by. Oh, Nal Torkeo, he looks here, overhears them, eavesdrops, and says, knowing the 23rd party of Japji, Japji Sahib. That's nothing. And he walks forward, he's like, hey, mere bhi pata. any kids that we teach in Gurmat class, all the kids at the Gurdwara, they all know Japji Sahib. These sadhus, they are renunciates, they are all together, they are all together, they are all together, and they are all together, they are all together. But the difference was, they're not talking about just having the bani kant. They're not talking about knowing the words of Japji Sahib. They were speaking about that my state has now reached that. I, I now experience this body now. I feel like I'm now understanding what truly Guru Nanak Dev Ji is saying when they're speaking about the fifth, 15th body. I truly understand when Satya Bacha now says, Sunaya, Hana. So understanding these things, the Jamji Sahib is not something to understand. Gurbani is not something to just take on. Gurbani is something to live, is, is to experience. The more about Japji Sahib, it is written in different parts in different areas. It was recited in Guru Nanak Dev Ji Satyapati. They travel to different places. That's why when you look at the the structure of Japji Sahib, when you compare it to let's say something like Sri Sukhmani Sahib, it's you know you have slok and then you have atpade. You have slok and you have atpade. Right? You have astpadiya, and it's a kind of like a similar a flow through the throughout the entire bani. Or a Japji Sahib, some body are shorter than the other, some, uh, you know, the, the po poetic form is a bit sh uh, shorter, some are longer, some are like Sodar, the body, right? And then you have, you also have, Apne Asa Naam Dharanjan Hoji Ko Man Jana Man Ko, you have those body, um, then you have the Panj Khandwali body, and all of these different body, and they're actually recited in different parts of them in different areas. Some are with the Sids, some are when they were, were travel towards. Makkah, some are with Peer Dastagir. So, Jirin Jina Vidwana Ne Khoj Kitiya, Dave stated these different things. But then it was recited again all together to Pai Lana Ji as well. So, Pai Lana Ji, they took this Bani to Unane in, in uh, Kartarpur and Kadur Sahib. This was Japti Sahib was read every single morning. Right? They, so, now let's speaking about the Mool of Japji Sahib, we have Mool Vantar. Um, Bais, when Veer Singh is going to be speaking a little bit more on Mool Vantar in the later talk, but it all starts from one. Now understanding this one, when we compare one thing to the other, we see a difference. For example, you compare myself to a tree. Like somebody tell me the difference. Somebody be like, Virji, that's obvious. Like tree is a tree, you're a human. Right? He has uh, trunk uh, he has roots. He or she, sorry. Didn't mean anything. <laughs> no offense. Um Pateya. Me I've got I have two eyes. I'm more chetan, somebody might even say. Like I'm more aware than the tree. I have a buddhi. I have hands and feet. My karmindri are different than the indri of the tree. Somebody saying all of these bed differences. So when somebody is speaking about Akalpurk, Akalpurk is Jira Brahm Jan Nirgun Srup Brahmatmaya. The formless Akalpurk Brahmatma. That's not you know, when we look at the Sari Srishti, we see Dui Kudrat Sajya, Karasan Dithoja. That's what we're seeing. Then we have all of this G. We have all of this uh, 
um, Jeev Jantu, we have our own karam, we have, we're doing living our own lives, we have our own buddhi, and we have our own ankar, we have our own homme. But we're speaking about the nirakar, nirgun paramatma, the formless paramatma. Paramatma is away from these three types of pedas. The first one is sujati, second vijati, and tisra swagat. To help explain that simply, and the first one is the one that I just explained. The difference between two different types, right? Two different species. Like a tree is different and I'm a human. And we're different, right? So that's one type of bed. So two types. A Kalpurk has no two types. So you can't say, oh, tree Paramatma and then the other Paramatma. There's no two types. The second way to look at it is within the one species. Let's say me and Viji, we're both humans, right? It's we're, we're one, but look, there's difference. I'm different than Viji is. I'm different than that Viji is. And this tree type could be different from that tree type, but it's, the, it's still the tree. It's still one tree, right? And you would call it by Ekki as just trees, but no, it's, there's a difference between the tree types as well. And the third type is within one thing. Like, let's say you look at the one tree. How? There's the tree bark. Then there's the tree leaves. Then there's a branch over there. There's a branch over there. So, even within Paramatma in itself, there's no difference. Are you guys catching on to kind of what I'm saying? Once we start understanding the form or the qualities of a Kalpurk, then we start understanding the hukam of Agalpurk. Reason being because the hukam is not any different than what Paramatma is. Because just like you can't put a limit on Agalpurk, you can't put a limit on Agalpurk's hukam. Right? Hukmi, hovan akar hukam na kahiyaja. You can't describe it. It's something jidi apa echi japa bujji di hundiya. Something that you have to experience, you have to see for your own eyes. Now, Akalpurk form, we all know has three forms, or three qualities, right? Form is, we already discussed that there's no differences. Akalpurk, ochis no, dvat no, pede. So when somebody describes ik, usually the meanings that follow under any tika or any explanation are these three things. The e, sujati, vijati, svagat, tom pedia. Now we look at the form of Nirgun Paramatma. We have Sada Sach Dhanand Satrang Parnasi. Why are we reading Barney? That means Sach, Sach, Chit, Anand. O Sat Sarupya. Means the form of truth. O the Hukam Vi Satchaya. That's why we see there's no difference between Agalpurk and the Hukam. Obi Satchaya, for the Hukum Bi Satchaya. Then you have Akal Purks, you know, Biantata, like you can't measure, it's immeasurable. The Hukum is immeasurable. Akal Purk is indescribable, the Hukum is indescribable. When somebody is able to understand Paramatma, they become, they merge with Paramatma. When somebody understands Hukum, they merge with, within the Hukum with Paramatma. Papa, we read this in Barney, okay. Akhim bajjo vekhna, vini karna sunna. Pairam bajjo chalana, vini hatha karna, jeeb hai bajjo bolana, yon jeevat marna, nanak hukum pachan ke, to khasma milna. We also read in Barney, ke avan jana hukum te seka. We'll try to, we'll bring it all together uh, to make it sense, make it make sense. Coming and going into the world, that's all within hukum. Hukum hai bujj, samavenge. Understanding and realizing this hukum, bujjar nal, you merge within that paramatma. Hukum hai bujj, samavenge, and baur ham kahe avenge. And then what's the point of coming back into this world? You understand how the game works, then why would you want to stay separate from a kalpurk? And you just merge with the Kalpur, Kodevich Linta. Understanding the Sat, Chit, Anand. So Sat Srupya. You Chetan Srupya, meaning the awareness form. 
somebody might say that you know this wood here it's not aware that's true it jad roop ya jad meaning it's not aware par parmatma ide vich vasda then you take a flower right you take a rose you compare it to this wood and you say this rose is, has more chetanta than the wood the dead wood then you put a sheep beside the rose and you say no the sheep has more chetanta than the rose is more awareness like this consciousness then you take a human and you put it beside the the sheep and you say the human has more chetanta then you put somebody who is awake jag gaya hoya in the love of parmatma or is somebody who has the understanding ke kal purakh di kheed right so let's say you can say gurmukh manmukh you can say agyani or brahm gyani and you say the brahm gyani has more chetanta awareness than the agyani then you look at what has more then the brahm gyani the weird qurbani the person who understands that har har jan do ek hai bib vichar kasna hai there is no difference so the understanding is the understanding of parmatma but well, you can't describe it now there is you speak about ishwari talk about parmatma now imagine how, the the endless limits of akalpurk but you can't describe in the chetanta akalpurk in which city akalus that we read katu hu suchet hoye ka chetna ko char kiyo फॉर्म पर उथे है वो ही आ पर उथे सुत्ता होया इस चेतनता उथे सुत्ती हुई आ देन वी हैव आनंद स्वरूप नाउ हियर इज द डिफरेंस व्हेन वी थिंक ऑफ दिस कांसेप्ट ऑफ हुक्म व्हो वी माइट फाइंड in hukum i was asking a few of the younger boys this morning what do you think of hukum and they're saying oh like hukum di palana karni right when somebody says a hukum te nu karna pena we say oh man we have to right ek hunda ya ke apan mitha karke man lena so hukum mitha ya but we don't understand how this hukum is mitha kyunki hukum is hukum vi anand ya अकाल पुरख परमात्मा भी आनंद स्वरूप है a brahm gyani and an agyani they both go and do the same thing they go to langar smagam they eat pizza theek <laughs> hai they have a plate full of pizza agyani eats the pizza ayo kenda wa 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 bada anand aaya and he goes the brahm gyani goes after eating he goes wa 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 bada anand aaya he goes what's going on here there's a difference the agyani is saying that because of the pizza i received anand and therefore because he met what he was desiring for a split moment his desire was fulfilled for a split second but as soon as it was fulfilled his mind stopped wavering and he experienced a little bit of anand of parmatma because our mind is constantly wavering once you pause for a split moment your mind starts wavering and you become desireless for even like 0.000 etc of a second you experience a little bit of anand of that anand swarup parmatma 
But as soon as he finishes eating it, the burki just has to go inside his mouth. Guess what? It starts digesting. And now, guess what? His hunger starts increasing second by second by second. So now he's on the hunt for again. So when next time he feels hungry, what is he going to do? He's going to say, let's go. You know, it's lunch time now. Let's go, let's go back to the langar hall. He's looking more for food constantly. And this search will never finish. This person is going around in circles trying to search for something. He'll never, never find that anand. Hon dusre paas ek brahm gyan nahi hai. Hon ne ja ke ohi langar shakya. Us ohi shakke, hon ne kya bada anand hai. He says, wow. But now, there's a difference. He realizes that because I became desireless for the split second, it's like when my mind stopped wavering, I paused. And when two things lined up, the rays of Akalpur came shining through. It's like the sunlight shining through. That I felt the rays of Akalpur, the sunshine. And when I experienced it a split second of that, I became desireless. Now that Brahm Gyanil, let's say tomorrow, next time, he doesn't have food. Whether it's this duk, whether it's this peace. Why? Because he can, he can control his mind and become desireless. So whether there's food or there isn't food, that person is always in anand. Do you see what I'm saying? Jo nar duk mein duk nahi manne, sukhas neer paane ja ke kanchan mati manne. So in the midst of duk, o duk ni masusunda. In the midst of sukh, the person doesn't indulge in that. He sees mitti or he sees gold, it doesn't infect him because there's no desire for that. Now, we spoke about Sat Srup, Chetanta Srup, and we spoke about Anand Srup, the form of Akalpurk. Now I want to speak about these three things which commonly get mistaken. Ekya Hukam. Okay? Ekya Raza. Ekya Pana. Okay? Everybody following me? Right? Okay, somebody want to explain to me what hukum is? Take a guess. When you think of hukum, what's the first thought that might come to your mind, Andy? Andy? Order. Order, okay. Andy, what else? What else? Everything that's happening. Like Joe Bartreya, Andy. Hukum. The system of why. The system of why, Guru, Andy. Hurkush. Okay, hold Raza Bari the so. Raza ki cheez. The way of life. The way of? The way. Of why, of why guru, of jo vartre ha, acha. Can you accept the hukum if it's bad or it's... Thik hai, thik hai. Thank you, along the same line. Haan ji, Raza. Surrender to the hukum. Haan ji, haan ji. Accepting it, accepting the hukum. Haan ji, thik hai. Haan ji. Let's we always put these three things like we use them interchangeably, you know? Na a hukum hoya, a hukum si, a paana si, chalo maraz di raza si. We 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 use them interchangeably. Hukum is let's say like we just said is the system that Kalpur has created. Somebody asked Muhammad, "Ke how much do he do we have in control?" And can you explain what hukum is? And how, how can, do we have any say in hukum? So Muhammad told the child, I know, so I'll use you as, a, as the child. This is Kadiyavu. He said, child, stand up. But you know, Kadiyavu. To see, ekla tapar, stay where you are, lift one leg and stay where you're standing. Take ya. Lift your higher. So he, he's able to stay there. Take ya. 
Now, stay exactly where you are. This is words of Muhammad. Do you want to know what Stay exactly where you are. Lift the other leg. Is it possible? Do it. Ho nahi sakda na? Piche na dekh bhi baba. Cuz Is pehle koi nahi. Maharaj it's Maharaj's system. Like this is one way to just understand that. It's Maharaj's system that if he lifts the other leg, when he digna aaya, he knows when he digna aaya. Theek hai? You can't change that. Jiddan ke je main apna me apni marzi kari jaawa. I say, I'm going to stop the mess, but I'm going to live on. I'm going to live on. I'm going to live on. Right? Either I'm going to like, hold on, but I'll give up, probably. Right? Or, you know, somebody else will stop, but I'll give up. Right? Or I'll pass out, unconscious. It's the way. The breath goes in, the breath goes out. Do you want to know what you're doing? Do you want to know what you're doing? Do you want to know what you're doing? The way that Maharaj has created this hukam. So now let's, let's talk about it a little bit in Asa ki var. Mahara says, Aapi ne aap saajiyo, Aapi ne rachiyo na ho. Doi kudrat saajiyo hai, karasan ditho chao. Data karta, aap tu. Tus deva kar hai pasao, tu jana hoi sabsa hai, dil aise jind kawao. Karasan ditho chao. O Aapi jind linda, Aapi dinda ya, te Aapi la linda ya. So he gives life and takes away life. That's within hukam. The fact, what defines what a good karm is, what is a bad karm? You think about it. If I say, if I just because I decide, because I say, because I decide, because I say, 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 now let's, this is we're gonna, we're gonna split a thodi up on whole breaky which is Janaya whereas hukum of Paramatma, right? Nirakar Paramatma, take a apne was the Guru Sahib da hukum. Take a, we're gonna speak about that in a little bit. There's a slight difference there. Hai ko galya. Our understanding of it can be different. As in like how we take it. Take it, how we perceive it to be. Vasi. There's no difference between a Kalpurk Sokam and Guru Sokam, the exact same thing. Now, Hukum is the system. If you search into Jiyo Vidwan Nani Likya, there's, you know, nobody's able to put one definition on this is what Hukum means. Some say law, some say order, some say, you know, the system of a Kalpurk. But the only way to define it is just say the word Hukum. Right? It's like trying to dis it's the, um, describe Suchimta in English to a Gura. Right? It's not going to happen. I've been searching for about nine years, ten years, for the English translation of Suchimta. I haven't come across an accurate. Right? There just isn't one. That's why Jiddha Pai Sabaratin Kare Singhi, Punjabi De Vecha, Gurmukhi De Vecha, in the language, there's so many things that if you translate it, you miss out on such a uh, deep concept, Jiddanke, in English. You might see her Jiddan, Ithe Koi Pangati Lakhi, and there's English translation. Chalo, Thigya, Artham Vaste, Sanu Samj, Thodi Pai Jandi, Par Gurmukhi Gurmukhi Ya, Gurbani O Akal Purkada Paramatma Da Rupiya. How? You miss out so many things, Jivinke, it could be written face, ha na? It's written face, but here there could be a completely different word, Jivinke, in Punjabi, we could be using so many different words for the word face, but the translation will always be face, such as we can use chehra. Right? There's this different, there's a context behind that, right? There's a feeling, emotion behind that. Chehra. What if I say, Tera mukhda? What if I say, Teri dekh? Teri shakal? Teri surat? Right? I say all of these, I say, Tera butha? Right? See the difference? Why kinna far kya? Tera mukhda? Tera butha. Right? Kinna far kya? But underneath it'll say face. Hana? So you lose out on so much. So much. Right? Jidda honke likhiya suhab, suhab, suhabi thale, crimson, crimson, crimson. Oh, God. It's like one of my favorite shepherds as well. Like crimson, crimson. Every time I see crimson, I think of like chrome rims on a car or something like that. Is that what Smaraj is? No. And now you lose lots of context behind it. It done niya chicha. Taan karke going to the root word of it. Ha na? Jidda ke raza. The next thing we're speaking about. Raza. He ek arbi paasha da shabtum aya. Jidda artha raj. Right? Raj means khushi. 
So now when you know in Punjabi or in Gurbani context it's used, I'm going to eat it in Bihari Lai Jandia, Rajai. And so I know there's a, there's a little bit of a joke within the things. Kai vari na ek ek vari apna sare singa apna kare sige ki amrit villa ho gaya uthiyo. Ek sing uthiya. He grabbed uh, his rajai, put it around, and when he marred the hukum, he hukum bhi jai chalna. <laughs> so that's not what, that's not what Rajai means. <laughs> so it comes from the Arbi word meaning Raj. Okay? Mean Kushi. Whatever Hukum happens, you accept it with happiness. Not that Acha is a nukarna pena. No? There's a difference. Raza vichalana. Ha, chalo Raza vichalana pena. Oh, obviously, you don't have a choice. <laughs> No, but this is on you. Because this is Maharaj's what, this question this, by the Sids was, What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Maharaj told them, This is what you can do. This is the Raj, Razai. Meaning, when you see the, the, the wondrousness of Paramatma, Kudrat dissa, Kudrat suniya, Kudrat pao suksar jaan Vismad naad, Vismad ped, Vismad ji, Vismad You see, Vismad is not like Harani, but not like shocking, not like fearful, it's like wondrousness, wow So when we say Guru Mantra, what is it? We say, wow Right, wondrousness, ascharjata it's the same thing. We see whatever is happening and we accept it with such happiness we say, wow. It's living, constantly living in the state of, of wondrousness, in the, the state of Harani, in the state of Anand. By living in that constant state of, and how can you, you can't, Guru Sahib Prapati Nehu Sakati, you can't find Anand in that way. Right? So, constantly living in that Chava. Something bad happens, this is upon you. Now, the second, third thing is Pana. Okay? Now, we only use this according to what we want to use it to. Right? So, let's say somebody passes away. Some unfortunate event happens. Right? We say, oh, it's a. Uh, but that, that's actually not used in the right context. Because let's say a baby is born, a baby is born, and we go to the hospital, and you walk out of the hospital room, and you go to the parent, you say, Pana va par gaya bacha hoya. And they say, what? <laughs> right? But hai to wo de paane vichi hai na? But you don't, we, we don't use it, so we pick and choose all of these things. Thik hai? What is paana? Paana da artha paona. Pa jana. This is the same root word, pai. Pai ke thum aya? A Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj said to Pai Mardan, he asked him, he said to 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 Guru Nanak Dev Ji said to him, he said to him, he said He sits on the same level as me, imagine that. He said to him, he said to him, he sits at the same level of the Guru. He said to him, he said to him, he said to him, he said to him, that's where the word Pai comes from. Jede mere herdinu paagya, somebody who's pleasing to my heart, O mera paagya. So the same thing comes from the Pana. So those actions which we do, Jo akal purkhnu paajanda, O Pana. Do you see what I'm saying? So this is, here there's a hukum, there's what we're doing, is the raza. We're going, we're living according to the Raza of Akalpurk. Now the actions Joe we do, oh Rabbanu Ponda, can he? That's Pana. But that's why we, we say, Apa e kaidane acha e Pana vapar gya, kyunke Rabbanu e Ponda hooga, Pame Sanu nahi Ponda. That's really what we're trying to say. Bujor ke ee kende hunde se ke. Pame Sanu okha lagda ya, but Rabbanu Ponda taan ye vapar ya ya. See what I'm saying? Or bachya paida hoye, Rabb de Pane ya, hukam anusar ya, Rabbanu Ponda taan ye ho ya. Right? Because, so Karaji Tessa Rajai, he only does Jodi Jonu Pondaya, Jodi Rajonu Manjura Rajavacha Odi. So Jonu Odi Rajavacha, we call that Pana. So now, if we're walking this path of Guru Sikhi, Apan Gona Gona, Apan Maranu Pondaya, we're living according to the Pana of Akalburg.
See how these three kind of differentiate slightly? Now, I have to share this with you. To help explain how sometimes we say, I kind of accept this, I kind of don't. Right? Guru Gobind Singh Ji Sache Paatshah Anandapur Sahib Somebody had donated to them a white tula Safed Rang the tula and Safed the star White the star and white tula completely white and Oh, khushi khushi vich Maharaj ne oh vastar pen le. And Guru Gobind Singh Ji, they would sometimes, from time to time, they would walk out into the city or the town of Anandpur Sahib. Uthi ja ke unha ne sare ande sangta ne, unha ne, unha de darshan karne, Maharaj ne aap dekhna ke sangta ki kar rin aya. They would go for a walk. Te naal kandri singh hunde sige. Te, as they're walking down the main road, ek den, they go off and today they say, one of the mandi which say, okay, let's not walk back on the main road. These Maharaj is walking through the small little uh, galiya, the small little streets where there's not even much room to walk. And Ote, there was this one Gursik, he used to do uh, pottery work. He used to make pots. And as he's making his pots, and he didn't see that he was to be able to do it. He didn't see that he was going to be able to do it. He didn't see that he was going to be able to do when Jadeo Gur Sikh Sige, the ones with them, they went and they started telling the saying, Kite nu desda ni tu unna ya te Maharaj te tu se ye baad. So he stood up and he said, Maharaj, mardu galte ho gaya. But what, in that meantime, what ended up happening is Maharaj ne kya ay shitte paya. Kite nu kush na kush, like there has to be a little bit just because if I don't say anything to you, then What's it called? Every Guru Sikh usare te le pae jane. To keep the, to keep everything, Maharan ne kya, ke edhi ja ke, na, madak cha, ek pyaar dena, cha, what's it called, he, he, give him a slap on the face. Pyaar dena. Maharaj was trying to teach something. Don't, don't take this out of, out of the way, ke Maharaj ne nu ke dham maar sakate ya. Maharaj ne agge Guru Sikh khanu kar sakhona ya. Thik ya? So they go, and Sarah and the Josh Japaria see Maran and Kedankar the Tana, everybody in Garm the Liege on the Anna. And I was like, Kaja, to marry Maranukia, Chamanda, and the Nona. They're using the context of Maras, but the only Karna, Panakam on the so they go. They there was about Pachi saying a cigar. Take each single one of them, everyone slapped them. Ekanikita, this Nia Mara, the Hokum Sade de Villa Gundana. मारे ने हुकम दे एकनु की तबर सारे ने लागू होंदा तो दूसरे की चक के ओदे मारया तीसरे ने चक के ओदे मारया चौथे ने चक के ओदे मारया एवरीबॉडी स्लापिंग है एंड बेचारा सक महाराज आगे चले गए सी है ना ते उस तो बाद पता लग गया मारनो के सारे ने ओदे बेचारे दा बुरा हाल कर देता उनु मार मुकट कुट के ते समारन ने संगन नु पूछया दे आस्क्ड हिम आफ्टर व्हाई डिड यू व्हाई डिड यू गाइस स्लाप हिम ईच आई ओनली टोल्ड वन ऑफ यू के प्यार दे नाल नु जाके समझोना and the Guru Sikh said, Ke Maharaj, Jyot Hadda Hukam Ya, Is Sarde, Sareya, Sare Khal Se Panthate, Ehi Hukam Lagu Hunda, Ji Tusi Ekkanu Kau, Ki Tusi Shodh Bani Pad Niya, Is Sare Panthate Lagu Hunda Ya. Then Maharaj Ne Kya, Phir Ji Mein Hona Hukam, Tenu Ekkanu Hukam Na Kar Dama, Ke Jeda Gari Bia, Aapni Kudi Inu Bia. Right? If I say, give you this Hukam now, that this poor person, Jinu Tusi Sare Kota Ge Aya, Take your daughter and wed him to him. Take all of your daughters and wed him towards him then. And all the sari uthe khad khadi ho ke said nime ho ke. Right? And they understood what Maharaj is trying to show them. We receive a hukam, jedi chiji sanu changi lag diya. We go full out on that. We say, we go crazy, ha ha ha, Maharaj the hukam this and that. Whether it actually might not be. And 
the other things which don't go according to us, we say nee nee nee, apna karna nahi hai, right? Raza which is meaning not sometimes but always. We can't pick and choose. Hapa hon kadi raza which is chal jenge hon nee sanu pounda nee nee. We have to understand okay, how we, every decision we make, every action that we take, this hukum raza paana, this plays a part of it. What is our focus? Of Sat Chet Anand Akal Prakapur Matma. Okay? Another thing uh, when we think about it is now going towards Guru Sahib Da Hukum. Guru Sahib's Hukam is which we understand through Gurbani. As a Sikh, whatever the Guru says, Sat Sat Kar Jano Guru Sikho. Whatever the Guru says through Gurbani, that is a Hukam to us. And living according to the you know, teachings of Gurbani. Jo Guru Kendaya, implementing that into our lives. That in itself is living according to the 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 Raza of Guru Sahib's Hukam, which is Gurbani. Guru Gurbani in itself is a hukam. You know they in, in Christianity they say the commandments, the ten commandments? Oh he uh, they, they they say it's like it's a hukam. Right? We have Gurbani as to be the complete hukam, complete hukam. No, and there's no, it's not been translated, it's not been, you know how I just explained to you how within one translation you lose so much, right? Imagine translating from one language, imagine Gurbani translated to English, translated to French, translated to Hindi, translated to that, and then translated back to Punjabi. It'd be a completely different thing, or translated back to Gurmukhi. You'd lose a lot of things, that's why Gurbani in itself, each and every Akhar, it's the, we see it to be the Sargun Sroop of Akalpurk. Ek dhan Nirgun Sroop ya na? Ek Sargun Sroop apne vaasde jo Gurbani de akkar ya. Because you don't, that doesn't change, it's unchanging. Now, my next thing that I want to uh, go forward on is this actual party, the first party of Japji Sahib. There's seven questions asked by the Sids. The first question, you know, ke rabdi apan prabdi karni hai, oh pavitr thorn nal, rabdi prabdi ho sakdi hai. Dousra ke ap rabdi prabdi, pramatma di prabdi vichar karnal ho sakdi hai. Dousra ke oh chintan dwara ho sakdi hai. Chowtha ke virag, by detaching from the world. Virag rahi ir pramatma di prabdi ho sakdi hai. Panjwa monta ranal ho sakdi hai. Can we achieve it by, you know, becoming mute, by not talking to anybody? Number six, by staying hungry. Pukhe rernal. By seven, by becoming very, very smart. Chatur chaturanya. By gathering facts and becoming, a, you know, very, very smart. And Maharaj answers this. Apan sari bodhi roj is very simple stuff and just going to glance over it. Through each and every single one of these things, Maharaj is saying, you do find it through these things, but not in the way that you're doing it. Because there, even by, by staying pure, there is a hukum in which actual pavitrata is, right? There is an actual way of doing vichar. There is an actual way of contemplating. Not just any way. There is a certain type of virag, a form of virag. There is a certain type of chop that we have to ta taran, not just by physically. And there is a certain hunger that we do have to have, but not the hunger for any of this rolo purmatma de prem di Then, not any by any of these gathering, any of these facts, but if you're going to gather something, gather just a kimle haram nam japalaha. You gather all of these things. So, long story short, is that the sawal puchhe sige? Maharaj they answer it in this body. Tiki aap asare padne hai, soch hai, soch na hovei. Soch hai is coming from a Sanskrit word, which means sochalaya. Tiki hai, sochalaya da arthya sochimta. Right, so meaning pavitrata. 
so by here so such as such no way by keeping as much such as much cleanliness um, by doing the Rathashnan but doing many many things that they had you can't find it just strictly there um, and up on Sunday to look up on body part uh, I'm going to go to this part. Now, we have to look at this word Satyar. What does it mean? It comes, it's a compound word of two words. Okay, Satyar. Which means Satya Akar. Sanskrit. Satya meaning two. Oh, sorry, meaning truth. Not two. Truth. The akar meaning form. If we the upper English which can we can say embodiment. How do we become the form of truth? Another way to look at it, R in Sanskrit means Alle. I think Halanta Lagana Chai that's the under the thing Alle. Now Alle Alle. Alle the Artha Kar house. How do we become the form or how do we Merge into the house of truth. And the Abhavadne Sachikhand was a Nirankar. That's the form of the house of truth. So here's the same question that's asked. So this is kind of the, the, the question, and that's the answer. Satya Akar. Give how? Satyara. How do we become the embodiment? How do, how do we become the form of truth? How, meaning, how, apa, if Akalpur is Sat Chit Anand Sarup, then how do we become that Sarup as well? Because this is clarified by what's following. Because right? it's the same question. In order to understand Pal, or Tutta Pal, it's Pal can mean. Um, See, you know when a river is flowing down? When a river is flowing and you take logs, you cut trees and you create a dam. That used to be known as a pal. So a blockage, a wall. When something like, you know, Kaivari, 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 you know, it would go on for hours and hours. So once the Ganga River starts flowing, there's no one born in this world that can stop the Ganga River. And I'm meaning the Kirpa is just flowing. That's how we would say it, right? And this Kirpa is just always flowing. Maharaj is always doing Kirpa, but there's this wall that we put, Hana, of a Gyanta. This pal that we put, over, it also translates translate to the veil of falsehood, which we put, which stops us from recognizing the Akalpak Paramatma. We're living in this box. And now we don't understand the hukum, we don't understand the darshan, we don't, we're not able to see the darshan, darshan nahi ho na koi samjh pa rahiya, na we're not experiencing anything, apan jo vi, apne andar jo vi, like we're just in our little box of ignorance. Take Think of it like, there's a light, light bulb. Take you guys all see light bulb? Imagine on top of that light bulb, there's a little bit of mal, right? There's a film. If you put a film, like a green color film on top of a light bulb, what color does the light bulb turn? Green. Right? Green, right? If you put a blue film on top of what what uh, color does it turn? Blue. Blue. But has the light changed color? No. Nope. Light has not changed color. The film on top makes it appear to be a different color. Are right? you following along? Light ni badli. Right? That has not changed. Right? Oh, that's still the same. But now the film of Agyanta which put on the outside, it's changed a little bit. Now imagine, okay, the color has changed. Imagine you put a bunch of mitti on top of that. You, you put mud on top of that light bulb. The light is still shining on the outside, but it's not as clear anymore. Now imagine you take a shoebox. 
and you put it on top of the light and you pretend that there's no such thing as a light bulb. Has the light bulb shut off? No. Light bulb halivia. The light is still shining. You just put a box and you're just pretending that I don't believe it. Let's say you put that shoe box inside of a house. You close off the house for thousands of years. Nobody lives in that city for years and years. But the light bulb is still shining. Yeah, right? But the light bulb is still, has not stopped. There's no difference between that. Light bulb is always constantly shining. The ignorance. So now let's, I, want, I want to go back to uh, when we spoke about Nirgun Paramatma and then we spoke about Jad Rupa, we talked about Sajati Vijati Swayagat Ped. Let's go a little bit further into this context. I want to speak about this Brahm which we, and then we speak about Maya. Srup Jinuapa Ishurvi Kadanya, right? This the the creation. And then we have Jeev Rup. Jeev Rup is us. In reality, Gurbani Dai Furmane Tata Niranjan Jyot Sabai Sohang Pedana Kuijiya. Sohang De E Artya. So, many mother, oh, right? Oh, hung, jitwapa hung taja hunkar, right? Hung meaning meh. Oh, te meh. There's no difference between us. That's what so hung means. Oh, te meh. There's no difference. Tata Niranjan Jyots by Sohang Ped, meaning difference. Right? You talk about the three types of Peds. Sohang Ped, na koi jiyo. There's no difference. There's no difference in species between us. There's no difference in um, the, uh, the ty with the differences between the same species. And there's no difference between one form within us. Exact same. But now there's this Kiv Kuda to Tepal. The question here is, here is, how do we break that? and merge with Paramatma because there's no difference it's like you've all seen these analogies before where there's a cup of water in uh, water inside the cup wa water outside the cup it's in the ocean no? the water inside water outside okay let's make it simpler a water balloon yeah everybody knows what a water balloon is under and you throw it into a tub of water you throw it into the ocean barbi pani but there's a veil. This water is not able to merge with that water. If the balloon is thick enough, so it's living in its own ignorance. So you, you pop that balloon. Now here's the difference. There is our Sathul Sarir, our physical Sarup. Then there's our Suksham Sarir. What we in English, I just wanted to make this clear and throw it in here, add it in. What we call in English the soul, right? That soul is actually not what we call Paramatma. What we consider the soul in the context we use it in English, oh, there's a soul and the soul traveled this and the soul got punished and the soul knew why, and then the soul went back into Charasi Lakajun. Jada Atmaya is Pavitar, is Nirlep. It's pure. It's the light that's inside of that light bulb. It's Prakash outside everywhere. But now there's a little bit of a film. There's a film. Like all of these, uh, there's still mal that travels with us. <coughs> all of that kind of stuff. That's all written with us. All of that's, that's, that's what we call a Suksham Sarid. In part of our Suksham Sri, there's 17 parts. Kara, we're not going to go too into it. 17 parts, Sataran Tatane, four of which we call the mind. In English, when we call the mind, we just consider it to be the just mind, right? The thing that we're thinking with. But koi bhi to see apne prani tarmaval chale jao, koi sanatan tarmaval to see apne gurmata nusar, kisi nubi pochlo, even Muslims. They always split the mind up into four or more parts. Four kata to kata, man, chit, bud, ankar. Iyam karke. So they always refer to meri buddhi, mera man, meri, mera chit. Right? It's different things. It's all stemming up from this ankar. There's the chitanta, right? 
which makes decisions. The decision makes an action. The action is done through the ankar because now it's become an identity. Mera karm ho gaya na, meri soch ho That's the mind. This ignorance in itself, that sukshim sarir, is now inside of this asthul sarir. Yeah, we have this dehi. Whilst living in this dehi, you can get rid of your ignorance. This is the beauty of it. You can completely get rid of your ignorance whilst in this physical body. And when your physical body is there or not there, you're already merged with the Kalpur. So you're already merged with the Kalpur. Right? So you're already merged with the there is no difference. Now, Satya Akar. How do we get rid of this veil of falsehood, this ignorance that's not allowing us to see? What is it, what is it made of? And now we'll discuss that as well. And here we spoke about Roj meaning Kheda. So, in this, this question, there's actually four questions in one. When we look at it, four different levels of kind of thinking about it. How can I become the form of the truthful Paramatma? Second, has how can I become truthful like Paramatma? Paramatma is true. Like we make chuti decisions and stuff. Like if somebody hears the reality of what Ek Vidwan ne badi pyari cheez kahi segi. If everybody understood the hukum of a kalpurk in this world, there would be no absolutely no need for you know uh, lawyers. There would be no need for judges. There would be no need for courts. Once somebody understands that such, like for example, this the Dunyavi laws, right? The, uh, whether it be Canadian laws, US laws, UK laws. Somebody can understand those laws. They can spend 20, 30 years of their life understanding those laws. But they can fear be, oh, um, they still have the ability to go against that, if they will to. Like somebody that's studied law for 30 years, if they wanted to become corrupt and wanted to misuse the law and go against the law in one way or the other, they still have the ability to. There's nothing stopping them. If somebody understands that, you can't go against it. It's not, it's not something that you can go against just because it is everything. There's nothing else other than you. So now, that's the second question, second type of question. Third, and not becoming truthful, how can I break away from this falsehood? Jotha, okay, how can I break that wall of falsehood? which is separating me from Paramatma. Okay, let's, let's look at the disease that's here, right? And now let's look at this disease, how can I break this? Like how can I break past this wall? So these four questions. So now, Maharaj, in the next, uh, after they, when they give this, uh, answer ke hukum razai chalana, hukum razai chalana, nanak likhya naal, ke aapa hukum di raza vich, right, we talk about raza meaning kheda, aapa going according to the will, understanding the hukum. The next question Sid's ask is, ke fir acha hukum di raza vich aapa chalana, thik ya, but what is hukum? So that's, the, that's what the whole second body is talking about, ke hukum ki ya, aakar hukum na kahya jai. You can't actually describe it. But to discuss more a little bit about the removing of this, of, of Satya Aar, Satya Akar. There's three types of dosh of the Ante Karan. So, what is the Ante Karan? Think of it like there's your mind, your memory, Chetanta. Man, Chit, Bodh, Ankar and uh, everything else, but that's all on one platter, right? It's all on one tray. That tray, the foundation, the basis, which is their unconscious mind, that is known to be your Antishkar. This is 
deep down to your um, this is your veil of falsehood which, you, which is creating your identity but your buddhi can't go th that deep because your buddhi is actually on top of that as soon as a ਇੱਕ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਪੰਜ ਕਲੇਸ਼ ਮੰਨੇ ਗਏ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਪੰਜਾਂ ਕਲੇਸ਼ਾਂ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਇੱਕ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਬੁੱਧੀ ਨੂੰ ਅਤੇ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਆਤਮਾ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਕਰਕੇ ਜਾਣਨਾ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਥਿੰਕ ਯਰ ਬੁੱਧੀ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਫਾਰਮ ਆਫ ਯਰ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਦੈਟ ਸੰਸਾਰੀ ਯੂ ਯਰ ਇੰਟਲੈਕਟ ਦੈਟ ਦਿਸ ਲਿਟਲ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਥਿੰਕਿੰਗ ਓ ਹੇ ਇਟਸ ਟਾਕ ਓ ਦ ਬਰਜ ਆਰ ਨਾਈਸ ਓ ਕੂਲ ਵਨ ਇਜ਼ ਲੰਚ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਦੈਟ ਲਿਟਲ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਦੈਟਸ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਓ ਵੀ ਜੀ ਸਟੋਲ ਇਜ਼ ਰੀਲੀ ਨਾਈਸ ਐਂਡ ਬਲੂ ਦ ਬੈਚਸ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਗ੍ਰੀਨ ਰਾਈਟ ਆਈ ਆਈ ਥਾਟ ਇਟ ਡਿਡ ਬਸ ਮੈਂ ਜਾਣ ਕੇ ਪਾਇਆ ਅਮ ਇਫ ਥੀਸ uh you know that little thinking that voice inside your mind if you think your buddhi your intellect the decision making is paramatma because this is where people a lot of uh like atheism stems from because it's all about jo mai sochta hai can i doubt this can i do this but according to this there is a philosopher by the name of rene descartes and he went around the entire world and he said that anything that i doubt ya matlab ho yani so he doubted is this tree there or is it not there ha na is jehdi meri cheez samne payi hai hai ya nahi my eyes could be giving me a trick it could be optical illusion i can doubt it par ma gaya na then it's not there hani sound could that really be a bird could it be a fake could it be udde sunda hoga you know so he doubted that he doubted everything but at the end he was he couldn't doubt one thing and he couldn't doubt that i'm the one that's thinking this ki main hi ye soch reha he's the i'm the one that's doubting all this so he created a phrase i think therefore i am ji main soch reha ta hi hai but that's mara jo kende hai par mein it just because you're thinking tu tu pa mein soch reha tera sochna bhi jhoot hai i think about that because your buddhi in itself is just stemming from your ankar but ante kar is your this foundation this platter which all of these things rest on but this is your what you call your identity which makes this makes you separate from paramatma gives you your identity and sends you into this world your ante kar now there's three dosh faults in this antesh karan right antesh karan or ante kar same thing theek hai one is mal theek hai one is vikap one is avarn hun mal kivein dur hove mal by doing nishkam karm selfless service by not thinking for the benefit of yourself doing a physical action which is completely for somebody else's benefit that that karke guru sikhan di seva guru sahib di seva all of these things these were the first things that when somebody would come to guru arjan dev ji sachi paach darbar kisne kehna maharaj ਅਸੀਂ ਬੜੇ ਬੜੇ ਦੂਰੋਂ ਆਏ ਆ ਤੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਤੇ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਕਰੋ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਨੇ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਜਾਓ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉੱਥੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਜੋੜਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰੋ ਜਾਓ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਲੰਗਰ ਦੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰੋ ਜਾਓ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹ ਫਲਾਣੇ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰੋ ਐਨੀ ਗੁਰਸਿਕ ਫਰਮ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਦੇ ਆਲ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਲੋਏਸਟ ਸੇਵਾ ਦ ਸੇਵਾ ਦੈਟ ਨੋਬਡੀ ਵੁਡ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਡੂ so that i think that's how we should have it today if somebody wants to become the president of our gurdwara they should have at least you know 5 years non stop lagatar seva experience of cleaning toilets at the gurdwara right then they become a president of a gurdwara imagine that right imagine those conditions hopefully it would change some something right um so this mal sab to pehla seva to sara kam shuru hunda seva removes mal kai vari somebody could be sitting there koi samne baith ke na thonu naam da upadesh ya gurbani da upadesh kari vi jave thoda man it's just like there's a wall you're not wanting to listen by doing these nishkam karm by helping others what you're doing is you're creating you're creating a creating positive karma for yourself and you're creating your own um chinge pag you can call it we'll speak about that in a little bit creating your own pag and then with this pag you get sad sangat bin pag bin pag ka sat sang na labbe apa padde ha then you create you find sangat and fir baad ch fir sangat de vich ho apa guru sahib di bakhshish hundi hai guru sahib de naal milap hunda and then you get guru sahib to naam milda and fir naam di to vyakhya hi nahi hai na that like this an end so mal goes away by doing nishkam karm number 2 vikhep which is the restlessness of your mind theek hai which is man idhar udhar bhajda 
This goes away by Upashna, which is Apana Simran, Barni, Jakirtan. <laughs> upashna means worship. How do we worship Paramatma? How do we worship Guru? It's through this Kirtan. By through Kirtan, this mind that's Idr Udr that's going everywhere, the the vikhep goes away. So you know how the example I was giving before where the person's eating but he, when his desires go away then he experiences a nand. But now through Kirtan your restlessness goes away and all you experience is a nand. You're physically, you know, sitting in a Darbar with the Sipami Bacho Bari Singavaji Vichero. Oh Kirtan and the Rondron Chal Dahir and Daya. It goes so deep, it goes into your like, you know, cells, it goes into each and every hair follicle. That's that, that's the Shakti of Kirtan. This ago, this ago, now this is, there's a um, concept known as Pranalika, which is a sequence of things when one thing happens, it leads to the next, right? Like, for example, when somebody gets punched, somebody gets mad, or somebody, you know, something happens, it leads to the next. So, here, when we start, you know, koi dukh sanu, uh, we find Dukh in the world. Dukh Daru Sukhrog Payahana. Then Odevichona, we, we get Virag a little bit. We start moving up on it. This is no as Tortajandia. Such is not as Jurnlag Bindi. We start looking for something. And, you know, with our Pag, with our doing all of this, uh, you know, Change Karam and doing Simran and Kirtan, we get Virag from the world. There's not that much in Nand. Then through that you get understanding. Babek is bib mene do ek mene ek. From duality to oneness. Right? Wisdom. That's what wisdom is. From duality to oneness. You get babek to be, be able to judge the difference between truth and false. Not just right and wrong, but truth and false. Right and wrong is our way of saying things. Isaiya e galtia. Truth and false is Paramatma's way of saying things. See the difference? So, slight difference there. They cut somebody. There's, these are qualities, Shegun. Okay, we're not going to go into that. Which somebody attains when they start walking onto this path of Pagati. Then, Moksta Deesha, Icha. Jang Kalo, Sari Sansar to Virag Bas Paramatma hi desta, Hor Kuch Nai. Ana Jedi Pangdi Apna Virji Apne Svere Parde Si, Kisi Koi Koi Manjne Mani Ek Tu Kyu Na Mari Jai Roi Jalag Chetna Avai. Bas Tu Hi Ya, Tu Hi Ya. Like the, Ek Tu Na Kena, Ha Na? Ek Unda. Truly, है ना के पंथ ने हार है काम नहीं लोचन पर ही ले हो सा सा उड़ना पे जय पागना के से हर दर्शन की आसा। But you have no ass of the other world. You, you only have one ass. Take care. And then, so the, this this becomes your state of mind, right? ये थोड़ी कलो एक अवस्था बन जान्दी है। Then सर्वर सर्वन मनन निद्यासन। Now these are your actions that you're doing. I think uh, uh, you're going to be speaking about Gavya Sunniya Marakiya about later on through the camp as well. You're listening. We read in Japanese, have Sunniya Diya Pordiya, Mannaya Diya Pordiya, Hana. Sravan Mannan Nidhyasana, meaning making it practical now and actually living that out. And when you start living it with that mentality, then this did it tattavangda jada concept or this concept of I am uh, that's removed and you become one one with Pramata. This Antashkaran becomes Shuddha. And so Antishkaran which Mealya, you get remove these three things, Antishkani Pramatma the Rupan Jandi. Now in this uh Hukumi Hovan Aka Hukumna Kahya Jai. And so Satyapacha is now describing this, we're just speaking about this hukum. Hukum Raza Tipana. There's a way that yogi is a way that 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 a there's two ways. एक उन्होंने कहना ये दरख्त ये मायादारूप है नहीं, मतलब ये दी जगह परमात्मा है, ठीक है? 
they would see he ate inu dekhe they would say e di jagah this is remove this this isn't e bhi nahi hai e bhi nahi hai e bhi nahi hai they would go sari unna ne kinne kinne lagatar kinne kinne saal is sadhana kari jani e bhi nahi hai e bhi nahi hai e bhi nahi hai kari jana kari jana and eventually when you remove everything what's left parmatma hai na once they remove everything physical for andar ho e bhi soch e bhi nahi hai acha buddhi e bhi nahi hai those be the more difficult things my intellect na evni hai my ankar evni hai then there's only parmal from the other thing where a guru gobind singh ji sache paacha apan oh evi das rahe ha na ke jalas to hi thallas to hi ha na they look at the tree they say kende evi tu hi ha right then they say look at this and they say evi tu hi ha then they look at the drakht evi tu hi ha oh bhi tu hi ha दे अपने अंदर बैठ के है ना उस बारो सारा परमात्मा हो गया ना चलो वो तो सारे अंदरों बारो एक चीज होंगी है अच्छा जेड़ा फुरना है ये भी तू ही है अच्छा जेड़ी बुद्धि है ये भी तू ही है अच्छा जेड़ा यू नो आया अच्छा ये भी तू ही है जेड़ी चेतन का ये भी तू ही है सो ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग यू स्टार्ट सींग है एंड बाद फिर तू ही तू ही तू तू करता तू हूं आ मुझ में रहा ना हूं जब पापा पर का मिट गया जब तो देखा तब तू देयर इज नो आपा पर का देयर इज नो वेल ऑफ फॉल्सहुड लेफ्ट एनीमोर राइट सो ए हुक्म बुझण वाली चीज है हुक्म ये होवन आकार हुक्म दे नाल ही ए सारा शरीर जो भी ए सारा संसार आकार दर्शदा है राइट जेड़े आप ही ने आप साजियो आप ही ने रचियो नाओ अपने आप नु मार ने उतो वड्डी एक चीज बनाई ओदा नाम है नाम क्यों क्योंकि नाम दे विचो नाम सानू नामी तक ले जांदा right nami is whose nam it is right nami takes us to the uh, nam nam takes us to the nami nam has the quality to take us separated to merge them with the kalpurk apine ap saji apine rachiyo nao doi kudrat saji hai and then this entire kudrat is created cross and ditho chao and tusi kithe baithe ha you living in each and every one of these cells kisne sawal kita si guru nanak dev ji maharaj nu पीर दस्तगीर कुछ है उन्हें क्या के क्या ही सेज टू द लुक्स इन द मिल्क इज लाइक दूध तो बड़ा पवित्र है देयर इज नथिंग रॉन्ग विद माय मिल्क अब वो सारा इट्स लाइक इट्स द क्लीनेस्ट मिल्क दैट दैट वी हैव एंड गुरु नानक देव जी कहंदे एदे विच कुछ है वो कहंदे की व्हाट इज इट ही सेज एदे विच क्यों हुआ एदे विच मक्खन है ही सेज ए तो है महाराज मक्खन तो है महाराज कहंदे दस किथे है वो कहंदे महाराज मेनू दसदा नहीं आई कैन सी इट लाइक बट है like just like in the same way tenu wale ithe parmatma dasda ni par hai edi vich hi ya within the milk there is butter there is butter within the milk jaise doodh mein ghee ya hum aap bani vich padde ha there is butter all throughout the milk but you just can't see it jadon nu radko de you know you do simran fir tonu dasna lag poga you can bring it about now in this entire thing this oh, sorry the next question he asked acha fir rab karda ki ya what is the game of akalpurkh or what is the job jo rehnda ya kithe ichha ithe rehnda ya odi kirt ki ya maharaj kende tu bade sawal puchda hai na aam karke de sahi jehda sawal sawalan da jawab den wala hai ustad ya oh uccha baitha hunda ya te jehde student hai oh thalle ni me bende hunde ya oh kende peer das ke tu apne takhtan de upar baitha main thalle sawal main sawal sawalan di jawab den wala main thalle baitha ya right so that we have to switch he is like okay, if i get my answer let's switch so peer das tagir goes on the ground guru nanak dev ji goes on sit on sits on the takht switch right mara sits on the takht and they go into samadhi samadhi lean ho gaye तो वो पीर दसगीर कहता कि महाराज मैं सवाल का जवाब दो तुम इतने समाधि में बह गए गुरु नानक देव जी महाराज ने अख खोली कहते बस परमात्मा यही करता है जेडे उच्चे बैठे आ उन्होंने थले तो ला के मारद जो थले होंगे उन्होंने उपर बिठा देता है दिस इज द गेम भाई जेडी उपर है थले ला दें थले उपर ला दें दिस इज द गेम महाराज जी जन सब खेत रचाया दस वाय महाराज इज even that dropping down going up what is that that's all within maharaj's hukum 
ਆਪਾਂ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਡੂ ਕਿੰਤੂ ਆਨ ਦੈਟ ਸਮਝਣੀ ਬੜੀ ਔਖੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਹੈ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸਿੰਗ ਇਟ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਹੁਕਮ ਹੀ ਹੋਵਣ ਜੀ ਹੁਕਮ ਮਿਲੇ ਵਡੇ ਆਈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਾਰੇ ਜੀ ਜੰਤੂ ਮਾਰਨ ਦੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਨਾਨਕ ਜੀ ਉਹ ਪਾਏ ਕਹ ਹਨਾ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨਾਨਕ ਜੀ ਉਹ ਪਾਏ ਕਹ ਲਿਖਨਾ ਵੇ ਧਰਮ ਬਹਾਲਿਆ ਉੱਥੇ ਸੱਚੀ ਹੀ ਸੱਚ ਨੇ ਬੜਾ ਚੁਣ ਵਕ ਘੜੇ ਜਜਮਾ ਲਿਆ ਥਾਉ ਨ ਪਾਇਨ ਕੂੜਿਆ ਰ ਮੁਹਕਾਲੇ ਦੋ ਜਕ ਚਾ ਲਿਆ ਤੇਰੇ ਨਾਇਰ ਤੇ ਸੇ ਜਣ ਗਏ ਹਾਰ ਗਏ ਸੇ ਠਗਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਲਿਖਨਾ ਵੇ ਧਰਮ ਬਹਾਲਿਆ ਆਪ ਪੜਦੇ ਆਸਾ ਕੀ ਵਾਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ there only those that are true so maras created a hukum they created there it's a it's a hukum of judging between right, truth and false right ek do hukum sari kudrat da aaya ek that's a hukum as well ek mar ne dharm likh ke ha na ke dharm rai jab likha mange kya mukh leke jayega ap padde hain bani vich then there is somebody maras appointed apne vichon they created a sroop and they said e di job e hai ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਯੂ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਜਸਟ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਯੂਰ ਕਰਮਸ ਐਂਡ ਨਾਉ ਦ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਕਮਸ ਦ ਸੋਲਸ ਆਰ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਡ ਸੈਪਰੇਟ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਦੇ ਕੇਮ ਇਨਟੂ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਇੱਥੇ ਚਲੋ ਉਹਦੇ ਲਿਖਣ ਦੇ ਅਨੁਸਾਰ ਯੂ نو ਵੀ ਅਬਟੇਨ ਦੁੱਖ ਤੇ ਸੁੱਖ ਹਨ ਦੁੱਖ ਸੁੱਖ ਪਾਈ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਹੁਕਮ ਅੰਦਰ ਸਭ ਕੋ ਬਾਹਰ ਹੁਕਮ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਵਿਥਿਨ ਹੁਕਮ ਬਟ ਦੈਨ ਵੀ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਮਾਈ ਆਸਕ ਮੈਂ ਦੋ ਮਿੰਟਾਂ ਚ ਮਾਫੀ ਕਰ ਦੇਣੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ the question is te fir apne jehde karm aap karde ha to wo actions that we do fir aap aap keh sakde ha acha main aj netnim kita hukum se ha na acha main na aj inna kita e mara da hukum paana si ga hukum se right we use it again we aap usse sakhi te chal jande ha na we we use it according to what we want ha na aise mara mummy mere test nahi theek hoya ਨਾ ਮੰਮੀ ਨੇ ਖੇਤਰ ਮਾਰੇ ਮਰ ਮੰਮੀ ਹੁਕਮ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਿੱਖ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਮਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹੁਕਮ ਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੰਨਦੇ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ देयर ਆਰ 3 ਟਾਈਪਸ ਆਫ ਕਰਮਸ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਸਾਲ ਵੀ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਸੰਖੇਪ ਰੂਪ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀਤੀ ਸੀਗੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਭਾਈ ਦਇਆ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਪੰਜਾਂ ਪਿਆਰਿਆਂ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਸਮਝਾ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਨੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਨਾ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਸਵਾਲ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਸੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਇੱਕ ਪਾਸੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਆਪਣਾ ਹੱਥੀ ਆਪਣਾ ਆਪੇ ਹੀ ਕਾਰਜ ਸਵਾਰੀ ਹੈ ਉਸੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਬਾਣੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਰੋਜ਼ ਪੜ੍ਹਦੇ ਆ ਸਕਿਆ ਉੱਥੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਸੋ ਕਰੇ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਸਰ ਜਾਂ ਜੋ ਨੂੰ ਭੌਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਪਾਸੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਸਦ ਦੱਦਾ ਦੋਸਤ ਨਾਲ ਦੇਉ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੋਸਤ ਕਰਮ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਜੁਮਾ ਕੀ ਆ ਸੋਮਾ ਪਾਇਆ ਦੋਸਤ ਨੇ ਦੀ ਜਬਰ ਜਣਾ ਇੱਕ ਪਾਸੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਮੇਰੇ ਹਰ ਜੀਉ ਅਸਾਂ ਜੋਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਜੇ ਕੁਝ ਕਰ ਹਮ ਸਕੈ ਜਿਉ ਭਾਵੇਂ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਬਖਸ਼ ਹਨ ਆਮ ਲਾਈਕ ਲਾਈਕ ਕਮ ਆਨ ਮੈਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਚੂਜ਼ ਯਰ ਸਾਈਡ ਨਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸਮਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੱਗਦੀ ਸੋ ਮਾਰਨ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦਾ ਖੁਲਾਸਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਮਾਰਜ ਤੇ ਟੇਕ देयर ਤੀਰ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਟੇਕ देयर देयर ਬੋ ਐਂਡ ਐਰੋ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਟੇਕ ਵਨ ਐਰੋ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ देयर ਦੇ ਪੁੱਟ ਇਟ ਔਨ देयर ਬੋ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਸੈਸ ਦਟ ਦਾ ਫਰਸਟ ਐਰੋ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇਹ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਇਵਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੀਗਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਸੀ ਇਹ ਸੰਚਿਤ ਸੀ ਸੋ ਵਨ ਫਰਸਟ ਟਾਈਪ ਆਫ ਕਰਮ ਇਸ ਸੰਚਿਤ ਕਰਮ ਥੀਸ ਆਰ ਕਰਮਸ ਵਿਚ ਵੀ ਬ੍ਰਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਫਰਮ ਪੂਰਬ ਲੇ ਕਰਮ ਸੋ ਦਟ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਦਟ ਵੀ ਡਨ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਪਾਸਟ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਦੋਸ ਬਾਈ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਵੇ ਬਾਈ ਦਟ ਇਜ਼ ਐਨ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਦਟ ਵੀ ਡਨ ਵਿਚ ਵੀ ਰਿਸੀਵਡ ਏ ਰਿਵਾਰਡ ਔਰ ਫਰੂਟ ਫੋਰ ਰਾਈਟ ਕਨਸੀਕੁਐਂਸ ਔਰ ਰਿਵਾਰਡ ਚੰਗਾ ਜਾਂ ਮਾੜਾ ਕਰਮ ਰਾਈਟ ਉਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜ ਗਿਆ so that's why that's why maras is abna likha budi kalam ho ithe vich hi vartad aaya and is being written right now that's how we create our own destiny that's why jo sade na hunda we can't blame anybody else ab ek thodo keh sakde acha mere naal eh hoya te aa phlani da phlani di galti hai nahi phlani di galti nahi hai right jo bjso tarna karm sandala ke te dam pangti apan
right? So three types of karmas. The other, the one that's like, oh, that's called pralabd karma. Okay? Sanchit karma, kiryaman karma, pralabd karma. Now, by doing good actions, right, you're building good karma. And those are, you're coming back. And with these good actions, guess what? You find Sangat. You find Guru Sahib Dhamma Laap Hundaya. Right? Without these karams, without doing these things, Kaivari apne inne mande paag hundeya. Kaivari, you know, apna Guru Sahib de darshan dvi ni hundeya. Apna avda mani kya thanda yar apna Guru Dwara Sahib ni jana. Chalo Sangatya, chow ki apna ki far kya. Kare Sangat aiya chalo apna kamre je baat ke video game khed diya. Right? Let the parents deal with it. Right? Kaivari da hundaya. Sangat apne gol chalke hundiya, but we still, you know, we we turn our face away from it all the time, right? But this is. It's all that is within a, what dict dictates what is a true karam, a, a satcha karam, which is a mada karam. Just because you do a good karam and you think, I think I did a good karam, according to you, a satcha chut, thot de karke ni, thot de karna ni ho janda, oh hukma nusar hai. You see what I mean? So this system of the three karams and etc. or didnavi, however, you know, it's endless. There's no vyakhya of it. That is all hukam. It's a system. To see, apna odi raza. Now, now the hukum is, what is such a? How can we merge with the Galburg? Ek hukum mara ne banaya ya. Just like Maharaj created the world within hukum, the way to escape him, Maharaj, the way to merge with you, way to experience it with you, evi hukum bachiya. But now, within this hukum, let's follow according to that hukum. Let's follow that hukum, going going according to the will of that hukum. Or raza vich rehna ya. Tiya. So, naam japna. Sachi Girt Karni, all of these things, Apna Seva Karni, Maharaj De Charna De Chilin Ta Hona, all of Gurbani basically, all of Japji Sahib is describing this. Tiyah Ke Sach Aar, Satya Akar Ke Me Hona. All of Guru Granth Sahib Ji is describing this as well. Ke Sat Sroop Ke Me Bandha, Sat Gur Ki Bani, Sat Sroop Hai, Gurbani Bani Hai. And I've become the form of Gurbani. Um, there's a couple more sake that I have in mind, but we'll save that for a different, the second lecture, Tiga. So, are there any questions that anybody has? Yeah. Or did I kind of just like, you know, drill a whole bunch of theory into your mind and you're just like, oh, Andy. Can you summarize uh, uh, what we were talking about in the, uh, in the starting? Uh, hukam and Raza and then Barna. Tiga. Hukam is the kudrat of the system which you call the law of nature just the way it is hana jidda kalo jidda hai hana maharaj ne jidda kita ya o hai jidda jo hove hovat so janna hai prabha apne ka hukm pichanna hai apan sukmani sahib vich padde hain whatever it is that is hukm theek hai now raza is us happily khushi khushi accepting and going according to that jo hunda hai we we are super happy with it it's pleasing to me tera kiya meetha lag gaya oh raza di gal ho rahi hai ithe hana and then Pana is what we do, O Maharaj no pa jave. So may it please Maharaj. Jo jedi chija pa kar diya, jee Guru no Paramatma no pa gi, fir Maharaj diye bakshe shaiya. Or ya pam pani vechhe kahi fir man pad diya. So that's just kind of a sankhe form of it. It is. Yeah, yeah. It it, it it stems from the right thinking, but it it gets misused, है ना? So it stems के पाना वापर गया meaning कि जो हो आया, like let's say somebody died, है ना? Somebody passed away. कोई चढ़ाई कर गया या ये मारने को पौंदा हुआ है, ताई हुआ है ना? Maharaj only does जो ना नू पौंदा या, है ना? Maharaj only does what pleases them. Maharaj would never do what doesn't please them, right? So somebody passed away, we should also accept that as to be Maharaj's Pana. Gotta get it? Not that when somebody is born, that is also Maharaj's Pana, somebody is born. But we don't use it in that context. Everything, Jovi Hora, is Sara Pana. But we don't, we only do it according to. It stems from the right thing. आप हाँ चलो उस दुख वेले आप आप समझाना कि हाँ मारज वही कर दीजिए वो नू पौंदा या ठीक है तो चंगे वास्ते ये तो आप आप उस पाने दे वो हुकम दे और सारा पाव दी रजा बच्चे चलना ना कि have to ठीक है so this so it stems from the right thing but when I think like our grandmothers use it it gets used in a different context right you know like somebody says like वहीं आप आप मारी जाना शुभ शुभ बोलो you know वो चीज़ हो जाती है
ਮਾਰੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਮਰਨ ਕਬੂਲ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਸੋ ਐਨੀਵੇ ਸੋ ਐਨੀਆਂ ਬੇਨਤੀਆਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਹਾਈ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਬਲੀ ਮੈਨੀ ਮੈਨੀ ਮਿਸਟੇਕਸ ਜੇ ਕੋਈ ਗੁਰਮਤ ਤੋਂ ਵਾਂਝੀ ਕੋਈ ਗੱਲ ਕਹਿ ਗਈ ਹੋਵੇ ਤੇ ਜਰੂਰ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਬਖਸ਼ ਲੈਣਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਬਖਸ਼ਣ ਹਾਰਨ ਤੇ ਯੂ ਗਾਇਸ ਆਰ ਦ ਸੰਗਤ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਬੈਸਟ ਮੀ ਆਮ ਜਸਟ ਯਰ ਯੰਗਰ ਬ੍ਰਦਰ ਐਜ਼ ਵੈਲ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਹੁਣ ਵੀਰ ਜੀ ਆਨੇ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਅੱਗੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਲਿਖ ਕੇ ਆਇਆ ਸੋ ਐਨੀਆਂ ਬੇਨਤੀਆਂ ਪ੍ਰਵਾਨ ਕਰਨੀ ਆ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ so we do have a little bit more time so so we can take a little bit more questions um i guess i would request if you could go over again the um the uh balance of the, how to reconcile um did uh um yeah doing um effort versus um everything simple from you know about so that mm-hmm. so that that question of those uh you know how do you um reconcile those two positions mm-hmm. uh, so to that if, uh, if anybody else yeah, just to add to that like where do you draw the line where you're saying this is hukum but no this is my will no right mm-hmm. It's a, it's a it's a good one and yeah. we we have this conversation and here's this analogy of so in our community in the Punjabi community South Asian community a lot of people have um, high blood sugar right and 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 um, they're like you know jo bhai gud da pana but they won't go gulab jamun nahi khadna ha why guru like what gives right like so that's a lot yeah 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 no it's true <laughs> mere this is this is my understanding hai hai na kyun maras kind hai na ki jo apne dost na de you de de over jana hai na you can not blame anybody for anything hai na te when we say chalo eh apnu ho gaya eh paana aaya hai na again it's koi maadi cheez ho gayi hai hun to manna pehna hi hai right there's no way that you can like do like accept it now na but based on your own karms like the way that you done a karm like they all interlink with each other the way that you did a karm jidan kalo tusi pehla koi sari umar uh kalo sugar khadi hai right hun thonu sugar hai because you eat eating that much sugar causes this that is a hukum you get it it's not it's it's according according to hukum that if you a karunge thonu a phal mil nahi hai we all know that's very clear it's in that light right if you're healthy you get healthy rewards if you work out this happens right like it's not going to happen that you you exercise you work out you're healthy and then you like you you get overweight and whatever it's like according to hukum that's not how it happens it's the other way around right so just because we think in our mind ke acha main a karda ya par hunda kuch ho raha te chalo mara to pana we we tend to put blame on akalpur hai na apne aap to la ke na ab mara de agge karde ne mara thodi galti hai right te in that light every anything that you're thinking of apa agyan vichon soch rahe hain hai na samjhe jo bhi apa agyan vichon kar rahe hain oh apne apne vich hi hunda hai hai na par fark eh hun shakti kede vich kedi vart rahi hai hai na jithe apan asan jor nahi je kish karam sake i think that's where the question comes from who shakti is let's say akal purkh doesn't have doesn't give us the light anymore that's it we're done apni buddhi kithe apne ki eh jor oda vart reha hai but maharaj is it's like you know like a a toy car that's going around it's like a puppet that's going around shakti odi vartriya but the decisions is kind of we're making in our own little ignorance it's not changing the entire hukum there's no way we can change that hukum hukum anusar hukum de badde hoye a vich but within that little bit of hukum maras gives because you do this you create your karmas you build your actions you can find your way out ha na aap to se apne kira e mal kripa grace and all of these things fall and fall fall a part of that jithe apne veer ji da sawal ya apne you know with diabetes is and this and that like wo apne karm judi hunde hai let's say from pichle koi koi cheez hunde ke jit ke kai bari apne itihas vich parman vi aunde hai jidda ohna jidda ek gur sikh ne dusre gur sikh ne eh kita ohna ne kya thode agle matlab inne maharaj ne kya ke tere agle janam waste tera muh kala hoga you know and there's actually they found like people this in india main akhi eh cheez dekhi hai so you go and the like koi gur sikh mene la ke ja rahe sige idda we're just walking by a pen and they're saying ithe khatti ji hai na utthe tenu kuch the corner i make it the cow menu there there's a banda that sits there in this hutty 
I don't know where he gets his food from. Kuch na kuch kar kar ke khaa lenda. He sits there and there's just he doesn't bathe, he doesn't do anything. Te ode vas vich hai nahi ode vas vich kuch. Hai na? Matlab because of his previous actions, kuch ne gur sikha ne mainu samjhaya si ga. Ohna ne pichle karma ch jo kuch na kuch kita hai iddan da jehda jehda hun oh cheez da phal bhog reha ya. इस जी मनुखी देही है ना ये जी जूनी है ये दो तरह की जूनी टू टाइप से जूनी आ एक मोख जूनी एक भोग जूनी भोग जूनी जी भोग करते हैं जिदा जेडे जीव जंतु दरख्त आ चिड़िया आ सारिया भोग जूनिया आ मोख जूनी जिद मुक्ति पा सकते हैं वह आ सिर्फ मनुखी दे पर मनुखी दे मोख जूनी भी है तो भोग जूनी भी आ सो यू हैव टू डू भोग ऑफ योर करम विद इन दिस जूनी एज वॉ Right, so that banda, I I saw him move kala. There's like mitti all over him. He's just sitting in this little hut. He's sitting there and just not doing anything. And it's just like you could. They're like the entire pen has been trying to help him. There's just absolutely nothing. Oh, apne karma da karke baat mein chalo jidda mara ne karna hoga. But like we try to help him. We play gurbani. We sit down. Thoda thoda fark banda. This and I've seen a key mein chiz dekhi hai. Okay, so that's why for me it makes sense. Like, how poor Blake Karam, it doesn't make sense how how this person, as much as that you're trying to help him, there's something that's going on, huh? But apne karma dinali jodiya hunda, but jo hoya ya, o de hokam anusar hoya. The fact that this equal the bad karma is hokam. Right? The fact that if he does good now, if you Gurbani sununga, Gurbani's hokam is this equals good, exactly, etc. And that's according to my understanding. So upon where it comes to effort, your job is to in this. This present moment that you have to look upon a bad thing and let your do. If you focus on the exact uh, moment that you have, right? Namara says, "Don't even let this dum dum sadas mal, ha na dum dum bertha jai." This very moment, ke ek swas bhi na bertha jaave, ha na. Forget all the other things. Focus on now and just do put as much effort as you can. Namara kine paaj, ha na? Ke paaj na karo. Again and again and again. Var var. Ek duji baar lakh hoy lakh lakh hoy lakh hoy lakh lakh gida kiya. That's effort. If I say, "Chalo, five jawari ma karunga." That's why we always say lakhavari. That's like I'm, I could be exaggerating. Okay, no, I'll always consistently, consistently be doing it, right? Like somebody goes to the gym. Let's just say I'm not saying Maharaj is exaggerating. That's don't take it out of context. Let's just somebody says I'm going to go. I'm just going to go lift the entire gym today. Meaning they're pumped. They're going to go lift lots. Effort born again, huh? They, if somebody is saying, oh yeah, I'm going to go and I'm going to, that means they're defining it. This and they do. Banda pe line till laya. पता नहीं शायद एक दो चक लूंगा प्लेट बेंच बुंच ला लूंगा पता नहीं है ना सो यू नो यू कैन कैन सी कि दंदी वर्कआउट होगी राइट समबडी गोस पंप्ड एंड देयर लाइक यू नो देयर स्लैपिंग ऑल द अदर थिंग्स एंड आई थिंक बनू कोश या व्हाटएवर है ना एंड फिर यू कैन सी हाउ हाउ मच एफर्ट दे गोइंग टू बी पुटिंग इन सो इन ईच एंड एवरी मोमेंट दैट वी हैव पुट एज मच एफर्ट एंड गो टुवर्ड्स द गुरु है ना बिकॉज़ अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इन गुरबाणी एंड अकै कीर्ति महाराज यदा एक दे गिव एन एक्शन आइटम है ना दे लस कई कई शब्द में इदा आप हम पढ़ते हैं मारन ये इधर एक्सप्लेन है अच्छा अकाल पर के इदा सारे थामा में जरम आया दे गिव यू एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग अखीर देखे हुन नानक ए बेनती करके तुसी मेनू नाम दबो के मैं बस जपा थोड़ा नाम राइट फिर किन्नी बारी आप किन्ने इदा दे शब्द पढ़ पढ़ते हैं ते every moment that you have you never want to waste it right only put it towards the guru and you take one par de you take one step towards the guru guru takes 100 steps towards you thousands of steps towards you har charan charan guru ek panda jay jal sat gur kot panda ag hoye let hai na so cheez hai so effort is everything 100% for you in jinna jara apa gyan vich ya once you escape a gyan like the thing fear that you know like oh the fear buddhi de vich prakash then you just see hukum varting uh, varting <laughs> हुक्म बरत रहा है ना